He got me with the kids. Or can it be, is it a 10 minute job? No, it's not a 10 minute job. Okay. So, so why don't you think really clearly about your concerns, why you have evil spirits all the time. Just think about that one thing. Can I do that not right now? <laughs> well, you have to do it right now. Can't well, as he just fell the spike, so I was trying to help him, and he's crying out there. And can I go see if you can? Well, I got it all cleaned up, but he's he's in the addition. And he's sad because it's hurting him. I would have to think it through. I don't know. No, no. Well, that's probably you don't one ever thing. Hear. Well, that's probably the one thing. All you thing. do is you just bring in evil spirits and they sit here, and then everybody's on edge all the time because you're bringing evil spirits into the home. Okay. Just what like I'm if I saying, was angry all the time, it would make everybody on edge all the time. Okay. You're angry then all the time. Then you wanted me to tell you the concern. So that's what I'm saying. It's how you're treating Leah. By like, when she's 21, she worked hard. And so you don't need to send her outside. No, it was and tell her outside to think. because she needs to go think and sit and Well, think why don't about you it. just talk to her and say, because do you, you want to go? She doesn't. Well, let her she just, just gets go pick where she's mad. going. Well, because you're uh, saying you worked so hard on this and you only did this much. And she, you're not treating her like if you were working with someone at work. If she, she would never have a job. She would be fired immediately. Well, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Okay. Does she, she would, have a good heart? Is she working hard? Well, we don't know that. I don't know. I do. <laughs> well, no, you don't. I know she's working hard. She might be, and she might be not. Well, if she I is, believe she is. Then, There's then no she's reason. probably not going to be able to do this. Okay, then that's an issue, but she doesn't need to be in trouble and sent outside. She wasn't sent outside because she was in trouble. She's sent outside to think about this. Yeah, but why don't you just let her sit here and think, or... Because you can't, because we're sitting here talking. I'm just saying, it, it's a demeaning feeling to have a 20, almost 21-year-old, and say, you're outside on the porch. Let her <laughs> okay, but realize say, can you go think about this, and let her go where she wants, pick it out. <laughs> okay, fine, we'll do it, however. Okay. Well, that, that's one thing that would bother me, like you're saying. It's just that kind of way, which is all the time. It's not all the time. Well, it's at least twice a day. There's a problem with somebody. <laughs> People are in trouble. Ricky, go up there and look. Do you have a question that's specific? I'm not going to be able to go, but I'm half the later because I need to do those things. Do you believe that you demean people more than twice a day? I don't know. Because I, I know you demean me more than twice a day. Uh, I have seen you to mean everyone here more than twice a day. So I'm just saying, sure, that's a, a good thing. You should, everybody should know that's fine. No problem. But okay, so that's my super, concern, super I think. Mean. The problem, and the problem, anyway, but that's all right. Just don't worry about if it's a good thing. Well, how do I demean people every twice a day? How does she ever demean people? Yeah. Well, you do it in the, just the way that you act. You do it in the way, in the words that you use. Just like every time I need help, like when Max pretty much crashed the website and we're trying to get viruses figured out because she did the wrong thing. And in fact, when Dad pointed out the problem to her and she admitted herself, she angrily okay, yeah. didn't correct it and basically sabotaged the website. Well, not because intentionally. She was, no, she intentionally did not sabotage think through the, the prop that she did not. Yeah, she did not intentionally the, Mom, sabotage. Mom, she, we said, this is going to break the website. you got to do this. She did not do it, and I asked, why did you not do it? And she said, because I was angry at you guys. Yeah. Okay. And the problem so, we have is, is and, that she is, yeah. But well, what the point yeah. I was getting to is, so I'm trying to have this problem. So who do you pick on? Mm -hmm. I'm sitting I'm trying to do all these jobs, and now I've got to switch this whole website. Who did you pick on in that situation? Who did you defend or support or no. anything? All Who I did know, you? No, I answer my no, question. No, you answer mine. All yeah. I came to the problem was, if I'm in the other room and hearing you yelling at Leah. Yeah, so why did you not listen? What's the problem? I don't care. And then care. think logically. Who am I going to support? Because you picked a side. 
Must you don't say, need to talk to me. Well, you don't need to talk to me like that. You're, and I'm you're not yelling talking right now. Yes, you do. You're belittling right now. Yes, How am I belittling? You, all, you do it every day. How? Even because you're Leah, treating even me Leah, like... Huh? Leah, does she do it every day? What do you do, Mom? Just How like, do I belittle Leah? Well, just like the, the day with the tortillas. You're like, why do you not have these already? And like, it's when? Like, when you came, when I was up in the scripture, and you told me, like, oh, where's the tortillas? Why are they not down here? And it's just like, it's an attitude. What that. day was this? just like an hour ago. <laughs> an hour ago? Yeah. And I was belittling you. Just stop you. and think about it. And I'd be littling you, Leah? Yes. You were being grumpy at me. <laughs> about not having the tortillas? Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> it was just okay. the way that you're talking well, about Well, so you do this every day, all day long. Okay. Not okay. Well, I disagree with that. Well, who, well, in, so in it's a all three of you Mom, again but listen, against listen, me, yes, but listen, fine. Listen. It's not three against one. Yes, it is. It's reality. It's the victim versus the person doing it. So who do you think is the more legitimate person to believe? The person With that's what? experiencing even, even it Leah, or the person doing right it? Even right now, not even in agreement with us, and even she's seeing it. So th look at just reality. That what? That I was demeaning to Leo and I asked if the tortillas were ready for the lunch. No, no, it's, it's, it's just the way you talk to people like that, not frustrated, like that attitude, huh? It's, it's demeaning. Yeah. It's the same as what Dad's doing to you, and he's sending you outside and treating you like a two-year-old. Um, well, because he's saying I'm more demeaning than he is. No, we just said you're demeaning every day. Nobody said you were more demeaning. Demeaning means you put people down. Exactly. And I put Leah I feel down. demeaned by you every day. Leah, do you feel demeaned by us just about every day? Every day, Do you day, feel yeah. demeaned by us pretty much every day? Yes, because if there's yeah. ever a situation where it's... And can you give me an example? You just did. But. How about the one that I just did? When you were yelling at Leah? Yeah, and, and it said, and this in, happens every time. Every I time I'm in a pickle the right and I'm way. the one suffering, you get mad at me. I don't and you blame mm -hmm. me, and you never support me, and you never do never. anything to help. It's always like, if mom walks in the room, just get out because she's only going to make it worse. <laughs> if That's I'm ever in a stressful so situation. Well, we're probably just in different ways of thinking about things well, then. Well, maybe it would... Well, sir, that's but not going to work. You can't just say, well, work. we're different ways Well, no, I'm saying I don't agree that's with all of you guys. That's completely psychology so. and wrong. So I need why do you not support me when I am the one that's getting have, the extra burden of no stress idea when it's what you mean problems. by not supporting okay, Every me. time there's a stressful problem with Leah, and Leah will admit herself that she's the one that's doing the thing wrong, why do you not help and say, okay, Leah, look, why did you do that? That's wrong. Why not come in and say, okay, now, Leah, why did you not do that? How can we fix this? How can you correct this? I'm sure all I do is come that. out and you never, say ever you shouldn't be yelling at her. Why? I don't I've even never, know the I've situation. Never seen, well, okay, wrong. I've seen you do that once in a while. I would say one out do of what? ten times what come in with a good attitude and try to be a peacemaker about one out of ten times. And all the rest, I'm the troublemaker. Quite a bit. I don't know. What do you guys well, think? Well, in a demeaning way. That's that okay. I'm demeaning. And tell me how it's demeaning. You've got to think about it yourself. Yeah. You're never, well, it I wouldn't you matter. Say. You don't, no, you We've don't. Already you already, we <laughs> say, and then you say, well, I'm not going to believe you guys. You're going to, so why would we say? This whole thing started because you sent a 20, no, almost 21 year old out on the porch. No, this whole thing started because you always have a bad spirit, and there's a bad spirit in the house constantly. And so I because asked of Leah, you. why are you on the porch? She said, I'm in trouble again. Well, and part of that is her own attitude. If she felt like she was in trouble, she needs to take some serious responsibility. She said, should have said, because I'm doing some things that are not right. And if she had that attitude once in a while, she would never be in trouble. It's very simple. And that's what we're having these discussions about. Right now, we're either going to try to do this or we're going to try to not. Right now, it won't work. Her doing the video editing. She can't do video editing okay. right now. Well, that's a good evaluation. If she was at a job, she'd be fired. Well, because she doesn't have the skills. No, she's no, to that's because not she true. will not listen and she will it's not obey. Huh. Yeah. Obey what? How you're telling her what, to do yeah. it? Yeah, when you say 
make an animation like and this. Spell it out. And she does not do that. And have you, or you figured tell her, out why? Do this with the plugins, and she will not do it. Bless you. She's got to figure that out. She's got to figure out why do I never follow the instructions? Why do I not do what I'm told? Why do I? It's not everybody else's job to figure out that. It's her job to figure out why do I not do this and correct it. It's called personal responsibility. It's the same way right now. If somebody comes to you and everybody says, yes, I'm feeling demeaned by you, like if you guys say, well, I'm feeling demeaned by you, then I say, yeah, okay, that's you feel demeaned change. by change. Yeah, you probably that happens don't. all the time. When he's in stressful situations, but he always yeah. makes up for it. And it's really that's bad. something different than everyone else in the house. <laughs> Is he tries to make reparation, he recognizes that he makes a mistake, he apologizes, and he tries to make up for it. Nobody else does that. Right now, they won't even admit they do the thing wrong in the first place, <laughs> let alone then try to make up for it, or try to repair things, or help, or listen when someone says, brings up a concern. <laughs> So that's why, at the end of the day, I don't really feel demeaned by Dad because I know and I understand. No, it's, I will say, it's really bad. i got to stop it. I need to get that corrected. There's no question but about that. But if someone that. recognizes, <laughs> personally, if someone recognizes when they do something wrong and they try to make up, that is resolved in my mind. <laughs> Wouldn't you say that? <laughs> If someone's trying versus yeah. someone yeah. She like doing it and then just look at things that way. That I don't. I don't. I, that's not how mom really looks at things. Either. How do you think I look at things? You just hold grudges forever. You get angry and you listen to evil spirits, and your sense of reality goes away. And so, no matter what's really going on, right? then you don't see that. You don't see reality. All you see is you're just angry all the time, so pretty much evil spirits run your life. And they have ever since you broke your temple covenants. And probably they were even doing it before when you were breaking your baptismal covenants. And, uh, and so that's just reality. You have to keep your covenants. You have to work on things. You have to work on problems. When you don't work on your problems and you break your covenants, that's what's going to happen. And so right now, like we're saying, all three people, say even Leah, who's feeling in trouble, okay, and it's a super stressful situation, even she can say, yeah, you do the same thing. The meaning. Another yeah. example, Mom, is yesterday. <laughs> We're getting ready. I was the one blamed that Leah wasn't ready. You no, you I started spouting out anyone. these things. You're like you're like, well, she didn't ha couldn't go in the bathroom because you had to, you had to use the bathroom, and that was, was a lie. Was that tone? It you, was. Yes, that it tone. Was. yes, it was. You weren't even there. It was. I know about it. You weren't yeah. even there. <laughs> I am there all the time. <laughs> well, I guarantee well, that was my This one yesterday, time. but it was exactly the same as what Dad's When people all, all of a sudden said. say you all need to leave in five minutes, and we are no, 25 minutes it, that's out. that's a lie, and you know it. What's because the lie? Because at 2.45, yep. I said to everyone Get the house in clean. your presence, and we said we're you have one hour, five. have the house clean. That makes 3.45, and then everyone needs to be ready to go by 4.30. No. I wake up at 4.35 and I don't people know are barely getting ready. I don't know why you said this or why you're in charge because we all said we our car load was leaving at 5. There well, was no guess what? I issue. told people. It was never decided when people were leaving. It was between us. Well, either well, way, it Mom, can't be between then you my way would have worked better because I'm actually anyway. getting people ready before. Not anyway. Yes. Not, and so we don't cleaned. Don't say anyway. No, because there's no way unless we had a recording. Okay, so but the oh, point is the yes, point. Who is. got blamed because Leah didn't, wasn't ready? I didn't blame you at all. Yeah, you did. No, I yeah. don't. There were about three different things. One, she couldn't get the I, bathroom. I said, that me. is not true. So then you Leah, just move on you to anything. Leah, were you there? Did you see this at all? No, she was up getting ready in the bathroom. And I came down yeah. for milking. And I said, why are you guys dogs? All the, the difficulty the I had? And Mom's just like, you're just mad. You're just Mom, tired. See, you and you're were just, just mad. Angry? No, I don't. Oh, you my goodness. Angry. This is you're not accurate. Spirit. This is not accurate. I Did you swear say those things? to I swear. God that it's accurate. It's not. You this is what happened. You do not know yourself. Okay. This is what happened. You told us, I need you to leave in five minutes. 
It was 25 now, minutes we before we planned. We were sitting talking about it for 10 minutes. I said, and it went back and forth four times. You don't even know what so happened. So I, I said, well, Leah's not even ready. And you said, well, I someone did, needs to go she milk. She doesn't need to be ready. And Hannah is There was sick. no reason Leah needed to be ready. She can go with me. We Leah, were going to practice our song in the car. It, no, you never said that. Well, that's, I don't know if I said it or not, but that was the whole reason well, Leah was going with us. It was understood. Well, she doesn't, <laughs> have to helping in the car is not going to work. And I was saying, in Hannah's defense, Hannah's not feeling good, I will go you milk in You were using it minutes. to manipulate your no, own I was that, You did not, not care she, about me. That is yes, because, I did. No, you, you were did sick. Not. Leah, did I mention Mom, that she was sick and I didn't want her doing Mentioning I was sick to your own advantage because yeah. it supported oh, your point against goodness. Dad. This and then that's why the minute I saw it, I just, unbelievable. No, it's actually reality. It's unbelievable. Mom, just like when Obama gets up and pretends to care about all these yeah. kids, he, that's what he says, but and why that's is he me. doing I'm like it? Obama I do fake. that all the time. Yes. And I don't care about people and I'm manipulating. Well, we are possessed by evil spirits, Leah, yes, because they are Leah, evil. Do you notice her doing that? Oh, you were really angry in the car yesterday, Mom. Yeah, I was. At who? Was I mad at Hannah? Then who were you One angry bit? at? Who at Dad for making yeah, us leave in five only. minutes. Yeah. And saying, you need to leave in five minutes. When it was perfectly logical? No, it perfect, wasn't. Yeah. We weren't ready. Because, it was perfectly because logical, and yes, you were. take the car so that then we can be here, you guys get there safely, and then we're not late. Yeah, it would have been fine if Leah was ready. And Leah should have been ready. It was whose fault was it that Leah was not ready? She was waiting for you to no, get No, she out was of the not. No. That is a lie. I was asleep, lie. Mom. Yes, and she was going to go in there to get ready. And she, and she went she in there anywhere. People were going up. in and out all the time, the whole well, time we I was asleep. Well, we were keeping anyway. everyone quiet. So what happened was I got up. I would waited to get myself ready until I had everyone else done the upstairs done because I thought that was the first time. And it was clean. But you were hours. supposed to be ready by 4.30. If you take longer than two no, and a half you hours. You said to clean the kitchen and yes. the floor. And then you said, I said I at 2.45. Done. What did I say? You have one hour. To have the house clean. That means you're going to need to move it. No, you said you had two hours. 3.45. Two hours to get the house clean? Leah, really? That Everyone was on the and then house I said, ready then at 4.30. One hour, because I knew in my mind, no, you need another you hour to get hours ready. hours out from being ready. Um, myself and the kids were all on the couch at 4.30, ready. Then you could have gone. We could have. I would have had to leave Leah. And Leah thought she'd fine. be ready in five minutes. But again, who's the one that then gets blamed? it was blamed the milking. If and Leah's you, not ready. When I'm sitting here, facts, your, she should have been it's ready. This. Okay. At the end of the day, it's this. She was very angry. Was she very angry, yes. Leah? Yeah. Yes. Was she very angry, yes. Hannah? Yes, I was angry. And you are angry every day lately. And so you need to decide because it's not going to work. You're, you're going you're gonna to implode. You're going to destroy this family. You've been told this over and over for years. You got to decide. You can either quit being angry, or everything's going to come and be destroyed. Well, if it's everything is my fault, then I can't ever bring up concerns. When no, we sat that's down, not true. You said you wanted you to know my concerns. You can bring up concerns anytime you want, but you got to quit being angry. Okay, then listen and if to you're my gonna, concerns. We do listen. Anger is your own choice. <laughs> has nothing to do with anyone well, else in the world. We're going to get there at your judgment day, and God's going to be like, why did you let evil spirits control you? And you're like, well, it was so-and-so's fault, and so-and-so. What do you think God's going to say? He's going to go, um, guess who's suffering for it? You and nobody else. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, you are the one responsible <laughs> for what you let control your own body. <laughs> no, seriously. No, sir. There's a serious problem with you. You're going to have to change. And if you change, everything around here will change. And if you don't change, everything around here will disintegrate. Uh, just like when I told you when these guys were little, I said, if you don't eat good, and if you don't do the right things, they're going to have serious health problems. Okay, it all came to pass. Okay, just like that happened. The same way, I'm telling you, if you don't stop being angry constantly, you're going to destroy this family. And it is a hypocritical thing. It's an evil spirit's manipulating you, getting to think oh, you're high and mighty and everybody else has problems. It's so much the beam in the moat like I've never seen in my entire life. And you gotta you gotta change. You gotta get serious about this. You're angry all the time. 
Even Leah, who's feeling in trouble, even she can see it. I mean, that should, if you'll just use common sense for a second and think about it, you'll be able to see, yeah, it's a problem. And you're not working on it. You're justifying yourself and you're just continuing on and on and on. You've got to figure out what you're going to do because right now you're going to destroy our family. Is that true, Leah? Yeah. I think as long as you're more lenient on me than you are on pets or dads, I have to be when you say In what ways? Just like I do something wrong and you're more like willing to overlook it than you would like if Pep's does something that irritates you or dad does something that irritates you. I will say again, I wasn't angry one bit at Hannah. In fact, I was well, saying she, she has a headache and she's know. sick. So you why does she... patronizing to No, me and I will never agree to that. Well, I Bless will her. prove it. Okay, Bless because stop, prove stop, it. stop, 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 stop. I We're know I wasn't. Our time if we t- you do not know. I was not you, patronizing. Do right now, does mom have a good spirit or a bad spirit? Leah. Okay. How you about yourself? Spirit, How about them, Leah? Because it doesn't matter but Leah, about them. Yes, Leah, it does do matter about them, Leah. Do I have a good spirit Leah? compared it to mom? Does Dad does have a good spirit, mom. Compared to me. Yeah, because you're just very angry and like... No, I'm... You are very angry. No, I'm not. You are. I'm somewhat in Le- unbelief, but... You're... Master, you don't understand the things of God at all. You, you're. I don't know what to do with you. You don't understand anything about God and His ways and the Spirit of God, and you can't tell when you're angry. You can't tell when you have the Spirit. You just don't see it. Is that true, Leah? Oh, yeah. Well, like, when I was like in the car, remember, like last night or yesterday, you know, and you were like. You don't believe me, like, and you're and you're frustrated, right? And you were talking yeah, to me, and I was like, um, and you said, well, don't believe me, but don't believe Dad either. You just gotta go figure it out with yourself. With what? Right? With what specifically? Um, with the with the whole problem of us leaving late, and you're frustrated, but you're realizing like Dad is always angry and like putting people down, and so that and that. Mhm. What I'm saying right now. <laughs> yeah, but you said you said. Oh, and how nice is that? Well, you guys are saying it to me constantly. Not behind your back like that. <laughs> Not behind my back. I will say you to your talk about it right now. In the car, trying to you turn people away. No, I'm not liar, trying to turn. And a Just like you did female. all my life. Huh. All yeah. growing up. That's why you always hated me, because I fought back against yep, it. I never I can remember you. you being 11. I can remember yes, being 11 years you old, do. and you would say the meanest things. And I would go in my room, and I would cry and cry and cry and cry, and think about people in storybooks who had abusive mothers, and just wish to God that I had a different mom. At 11 years old, what yes, kinds of things did I at say? 10. And remember. I can remember one day in particular that I just blocked it out of my mind so I can't remember the words but I remember that dad was there and he just turned on me and he said you never say things like that again but you still said it and so it still hurt okay that is who you have been and who you are and the things dad and said you've to people never every ever day. apologized dad has apologized said. constantly you never do you just justify it and ignore it and pretend like it never happened. And then the next time you get angry, you do it again. <laughs> and more than that, constantly you have evil spirits possessing you and you bring evil spirits in the house. Constantly. It's near constant nowadays. Day after day after day. If you leave, it's a good spirit. You come back, it's a bad spirit. You're destroying the family. Everybody acts up because you're around. Is this true? Does anybody know this? Yes. That's you, my mom. You, even you know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A few times I get in trouble. But <laughs> what? Suffer a few times I get in trouble. That one, but like, what are you saying? Um, you, you said it's a, it's a good spear here. Uh, all the time, oh, whenever right. No, done, no, 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 I'm not saying it's good spirit all the time. I'm just saying, overall, <laughs> is mom bringing in evil spirits a lot? 
that just be mom like when you come home from errands or you're like frustrated and grumpy and you're like talking to the kids in a mean way and then all of a sudden they start how talking back. How often does that happen, Leah? That does happen a lot. Like, how often? Every day. It, it does happen. Like, every day, Leah? Is that yeah. what you'd yeah. say? That yeah. every day I'm talking to the kids rude in me. I mean, Leah? I have seen it, Mom. Remember you said how for me to go and make Leah? up my own mind and pray about yeah. it? Huh? So I did that huh? Okay. yesterday. And huh? what, what did you think? And I, and I came to the conclusion that uh, even though that it may seem like you're trying to help me out of a fix right now, it's not the right thing, and you're not doing it in the right way. Huh? Okay, so you want Dad to just be able to send so, you out but, on the porch and things like that. You feel that's right? Is that how you want to be treated? Huh? Or does, should somebody well, so, say that when you're almost 21 years old, there's maybe a more mature, well, respectful way to so deal Marcy, with it. are you ready to be perfect? No. But are you if ready I to stop demeaning up? people? And are you ready that every time you start demeaning people, you will immediately stop, like right now? And are you ready that every time you have a bad spirit, like right now, you immediately get rid of that? Are you ready to do that? Well, I'll try. I want to do If you're right ready, thing. no, you don't. Maybe but if I you do. do, if you swear to God that you will do that, and you will actually try to do it, then you ought to maybe start trying to preach to everyone else about being perfect. But if you're not going to do that, and you're not going to listen, and when you have the three oldest people in the family, and they're all agreeing, saying, look, this and this and this, and you're not even going to take it serious. You're not even going to listen. You don't. You haven't listened. You haven't thought about it. You haven't prayed about it. You never will. And if you're going to be that way, there's no hope. So you're going to have to decide. Are you going to work on your weaknesses and problems? Or are you going to think you're perfect and you're only going to dwell on other people's to where, Master, you hated your mom, you hate my mom, you hate everybody, you hate me, you hate Hannah half the time. I don't, I don't think that's accurate. Is it accurate? No. The only, I really think the only reason that you don't treat me the same way that I did, you did when I was 14, 15, 16 is because I'm so tough. Huh. Yeah. Huh. And I still, you don't dare. How did I treat you, Hannah? Um, you how I want terrible. me mocking me. How? I would hear you out mocking me. me. Oh, yeah, there's Hannah out there working on dad's job. All sorts of just yep. Hannah. Yes. This is not true. Mom, it I'll is true. Do you th one, huh? Yes. And being like, I don't want to go up there and do those jobs. And we're going to be like, that. Huh? Yeah. yeah. And, get and to that's me. why and James that. and Hannah had their problems. I can, you demean me to Grandma you. Hatch? Yes. I have how? heard it. Even when we were moving, and I sided with Dad when you guys were in the fight, and I sided with which Dad. Fight? And don't just don't even worry yeah. about the which one. Yeah. But you guys got in a fight. I sided with Dad. And, about what and, subject? And you're up there, and just of course, like usual. What? Yeah. Master, I think you need to get really serious about getting a good spirit. Because if Mom, you're do you think I'm angry, making this up? Am I a liar? No, I don't then know. Then why are but you saying you I am a liar? If you are exaggerating no. or not remembering, well, then, that sure different than I think this world is going? Yeah, because you've never once apologized to me for it. For which specific? I don't you've even say. You've never apologized to me, and you've made my life a hell. So, of course, you have. How have I made your life hell? By lying to me constantly, sneaking constantly, taking drugs and being perverted before we got married, and then refusing to eat good so all the kids have health problems and then afterwards refusing to eat good food and so all the kids continue to have more health problems and then constantly constantly belittling all of us bringing in bad spirits so it's nearly constantly evil spirits here and These if are i just was gone you believe mom, everything would be nice here when have you ever apologized for those things to me times huh. better when have you ever apologized no. to me for teaching us how to lie? <laughs> have you ever? Uh, probably not. Why not? Because that's the first sign of someone who's truly repented. So have you repented? No, because you no. still huh. lie today, constantly. So you're, you're helpful as far as like 
driving back and forth from Spring City and doing jobs, that's great. You, you're helpful as far as trying what kind of to keep the house clean. You're helpful on some of that kind of thing. But on standards of morality, standards of honesty, standards of what the Spirit is and helping us have the Spirit here, standards on all these things, you're destroying our family. And you think you don't play a part in that? No. I. What are you Did talking about? Did Dad ever about? say he never I, plays a part what, in that? Well, you just heard. I constantly am apologizing. You I, don't really apologize to us. Um, yes, yeah, I do. Yeah, he does. He treats you way better than I ever would. <laughs> he has been an amazing example to me, and I have mentally, consciously noted it, of what I should do when I'm married. <laughs> of being long-suffering and patient, turning the other cheek a million times and apologizing. <laughs> oh, so you don't know yourself. David Whitler, he didn't know himself. Do you know why he didn't know himself? Do you know? Well, I haven't studied history like you have. No, you don't need to study history. from the church. Well, he, he couldn't keep his Joseph own Smith story straight for one second. And just tried to destroy the church and spent his whole life trying to destroy the church. Okay? So, he broke his covenants. All of them. His priesthood covenants, his baptism covenant, his temple covenants, everything he broke. His covenants with the angels that came and showed him the plates. He broke that covenant. Okay? And so his mind was crazy. But in his mind, he thought he was right. Just like you. You broke your baptismal covenant, your temple covenant, your marriage covenant. Every covenant possible for you to have, you've broken over and over repeatedly. You lie constantly. You, you're bringing in bad spirits. You're doing all these things. And you're never working on it. And you're not apologizing. Ever. And you're not trying to... All these things, just like what we're saying. This is reality. But in your mind, because you're where you're at, you think reality is everybody else around you that's good and doing a good work is the problem. Just like Scott. Who does he think is the problem in this world? People who are crazy, people the religionists, people who have family values, those are the people with the problem. Why does he believe that? It's because he sincerely believes that. Right? And the same with Phil. Right? They sincerely believe that. Your mom thinks, sincerely believes that I'm evil and all this stuff and, and, and wicked and, and terrible and crazy. Okay? And guess what? She's out of her mind. She's possessed by evil spirits, just like pretty much all you guys. Okay? Now you've got to decide, do I want to be like that? Do I want to be like James? Do I want to be like Phil? Do I want to be like Scott? Do I want to be like my mom? Do I want to be like Janice? Do I want to be like... Do you see what I mean? Or do I want to be more like these guys? And you're going to have to decide that. Because right now you're fighting what we're trying to do. We're trying to help save the church. And you're fighting that. It would be better for you not to be here. Because you are fighting the work we're trying to do. Now, that having said that, it would be way, way better if you would just stop being angry all the time. Stop bringing in evil spirits all the time. Because when you're here and there's evil spirits, it's super hard to be patient. And people can do it for several hours, and then it's really hard. It's just like if I was always mad all the time constantly, and you were like, I'm going to stay patient all the time, regardless of what happens. You couldn't do it. The only person that can do that is the Lord. Even Joseph Smith probably couldn't do that. It's hard. you got to face reality. Did you break all your covenants, Moxie? Did you? Yeah. Do you have a problem with constantly lying? Are you... a and do you have a problem with sneaking in the treats constantly? Well, I'm trying not to work. I'm no, not, trying, to work not trying. You're not. How do you know? Because we know. We can see how hard you're working on things. You're making this kind of an effort. It's not much. There's not much effort going into you're worried about everyone else. And you constantly demean me.
I don't even bring it up. It's not even worth my well, time because you even give me some examples. Of I how can't you because it. if I even because I'm to, always helping you. No, so you're how constantly am I demeaning, demeaning you. saying mean things constantly. How, what have I said that's mean? You should have the Lord reveal that to you. You, you should, should tell me. No, I can't. You won't believe it. You huh? wouldn't believe it. I've said Would it for she believe if I brought anything up ever to her? If you said you said this. To me, no. that well, was demeaning. Since you don't no. believe it, you would just find a reason why it's not the case. Well, if someone said, you said this, and it's okay. rude. Listen, but in this conversation, has she listened to one thing we've said, Leah? No. Has she listened to one thing we've said, Hannah? Uh-huh. You haven't listened to one thing we've said, just like any other time. Why would it be any other time different if I brought it up? It well, wouldn't if people matter. say you demean me every day, but then they won't ever say what, Master, how. <laughs> you need to work on your own problems and figure out what you're doing that's what you need to do and we've said this over and over and over again you need to work on your own problems has she been constantly angry for the last few weeks leah for a few weeks it is true yes constantly angry especially what is the pioneer day especially the last week week and a half that's what i would say what about the pioneer day leah Remember all the fights that were going on? No, not especially. Do you remember it? Yes, you have got to think once in a while. You're in a dream bubble that is not even real. You are possessed by evil spirits. You are out of control. And you do not work on your problems. You do not think about things. You do not think about your problems. You do not think. You can say whatever, and then you never think about it afterwards. Is this true, guys? Obviously, since you Obviously, can't remember. Can't even remember. Well, <laughs> there's fight. we're in fights almost every day. Come yeah, on, guys. Been especially bad, <laughs> like the past few weeks. <laughs> and wouldn't you say you're in trouble several times a day, Leah? Well, I probably do get a lot of trouble, but yeah, well, several well, times well, a well, day by dad, you're, you're in trouble. Several and times a day by me. I don't even talk to her several times yeah. a day. Well, yeah, you that, say that is true. <laughs> How many times a day? At least once a day, you're in trouble. Every other Whether day it's the or food every third day, or the windows, or the it floor. Every or, other day. Uh-huh. Okay, every other day you're in trouble. Like, that is case. the same. It's the same situation. I mean, what does that have to do yeah. with? So Again, I'm that's the point understand. is that she's trying to justify herself. Yes. No, I'm just saying. No, yes. you're trying to justify yourself. Because we're sitting here trying to make very clear that you have some issues that you've never repented of, that you never think about, that you never apologize for, that you never work on, and, and the- instead you're trying to twist it to me, who admits having problems. I don't have problems with honesty. I don't have problems with sneaking in trees. I don't have problems with immorality. I don't have problems with all those problems you have problems with. But I do have a problem with losing my temper. So in one way, we are alike. Is that true? Yeah, that is true. I was the last time Dad told Oh, yeah, I don't think he has a problem with it. He doesn't need to be this honest. <laughs> He's, he just what needs. are you talking about? I'm just saying you are. I don't Why do you need to be? Well, no, but I get okay. tempted a million times more than you ever dreamed of. You have no idea okay. what temptations are, because if you were to die, this world would be no different. You do not understand what it means to be tempted because you have always succumbed. You do not know what it means to be morally clean when you are tempted because you didn't do it. This is reality. Now, I would like you to think about it and try to muster just a little bit of humility to work on your own problems once in a while, and just a little bit of humility to stop. I mean, think about it, what you've brought to this marriage. Think about it. Lying, anger, broken covenants, no self-control at all. 
You're saying, I have all this self-control. You don't have any self-control because you can't even stay out of treats for five minutes. Not... Uh, well, that's not true. But... Yes, it is true. You're, you're sneaking If the temptation case. was there, Mom, if there was a plate of donuts on the table I and cheesecake... I could it up. Leah, yeah. does she have any self-discipline? Really? So then why did you tell me about a week ago? You are like, oh, we better put the pop, the caramel popcorn away because otherwise I'm going to eat it as you were yeah, eating that, that, oh, but oh, I, I, I had it, it sitting there. Let's I could see. Pass it. Do you commit to go off of all sugar and all flat white flour from now for five years? Probably not. Why not? Why can't you do that? You have such amazing discipline, guys. Mom, it's on. It's an know, honest. I population. could do it, but if you go places to eat, you you're eating white flour. Like she could do that. I didn't yesterday. I so long time. Haven't done it for six years. <laughs> It's okay. easy. Do, do you I will she think could do about that, it. Yeah? I don't think you could, Mom. Her. Well, I, I know had, she I haven't had too. chocolate for 19 years. Maybe. Yeah, I haven't. But you've lied about everything else. Why would we believe that? No, you don't need to believe it because it has nothing to do with you. Yes, it does have to do with me. Um, you are my actions stewardship. Actions have consequences on people. <laughs> I'm sure seriously. You've got to think about things. Well, honestly, I am shocked <laughs> that you don't remember all of the mean things you've done to me growing up. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly shocked. I, I mean, I knew that you didn't really feel sorry about it, obviously, but I had no idea that you just dismissed it and didn't even acknowledge that it happened. <laughs> like, honestly, that is very surprising to me. <laughs> well, all you've told me is, oh, I had like an idyllic childhood. Yes. I was not riding because a bike. Because where so is your I perfect... I had no idea. No. How many Love times, sir, Mom, have I you I have fought? heard her tell you all of this in graphic yeah. detail. In graphic yes. detail. Yes. What, what, did, what did you yes. do? What did I do that was How about so mean? The, a year ago, this time a year ago, and I spelled it out more than I ever had. <laughs> yeah. Where were you? Yeah. Where, where were you? Because you were you sitting on the couch, but apparently oh, your like, mind could care less and was off on something else. Well, generally, so, like you were always mean to me, but no when? specifics. No specifics. <laughs> About eating. Leah. Yeah. That is true, Mom. I was sitting out over there. Can you tell me some of them? Yeah. yeah. Kate was sitting on the couch. Dad was sitting on that other small couch. I was just sitting by the black chair. Okay. What? Time she what are some of the details? Outside. About being mean to her, like, yeah, like the things when? you when? Would say, huh? say like what when they she were was working on the videos and don't work on dad's projects. Huh? Hey, that grow, she's huh? talking about growing up, always yeah. mean to her growing up. 10, 11, yeah, it's never changed. what, what, then what do you think spurred an 11 year old, 10 year old actually, possibly nine and a half year old, consciously sitting on the stairs and thinking, I am not going to follow whatever my mom yeah, says. Yeah, so tell me what it was. Well, well maybe you... different sure. things, like when Dad would go to basketball and you would rant about him till he came home. <laughs> when? What did I, I say? She's talking, and then as soon as I started standing up to things, then obviously I was the target too. How many times did we fight Once after about hitting about 11, 12 years old? How many times did we know. fight? Did we never fight ever? Or did we fight? After Have we fought? Fight. So 12 is when you started going to American Heritage. Because that's when I started speaking up. Well, see, you constantly yeah, are against her. You are constantly no, against, against her, her. our projects right now. No, you I'm are. not. Yes, you I, are. I'm working on the transcript. You are I'm not. helping. You are not Mom, helping. you got to be we in don't here. Want your help. Mom, in I am. here. I not am. here. No, we, you are not. Mom. I am. Well, you what about not. right now? Right now what? Right now. You right are now. against the I no, I'm not against you the project. Against no, I'm the not. Projects. Yes. But I are. do need to go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna have to